physical and chemical changes. Change is a universal phenomenon. Almost all substances undergo change. While some changes are easy to detect, some are so small that they are difficult to identify. These changes have been taking place around us continuously, such as day and night, change of seasons, growth of plants and animals, ripening of fruits, burning of fuel, melting of ice, cooking of food, etc. The change can be natural and man-made, slow and fast, periodic and non-periodic, desirable and undesirable, small and large, reversible and irreversible, temporary and permanent, etc. All these changes are exciting and each one of them has a reason behind it. Since most of the changes are different in nature, it is necessary to study them in detail. Slow and fast changes. The changes that take longer time to complete are called slower changes. They take hours, days, months or even years to occur. Examples, resting of iron, change of season, formation of curd from milk, a child growing into an adult, formation of fossil fuels from dead plants and animals, etc. The changes that take place in a very short interval of time are called fast changes. For example, bursting of crackers, lightning of an electric bulb, switching on a fan, blinking of eye, cutting of an apple, etc. Natural and man-made changes. Some changes that take place in nature by themselves are called natural changes. For example, change of day and night, growing of trees, earthquakes, eruption of volcanoes, etc. Any change that occurs due to the efforts of human being is called a man-made change. Examples, cooking of food, formation of steel from iron, brass from copper and zinc, jewelry from gold, etc. Periodic and non-periodic changes. Changes that are repeated at regular intervals of time are called periodic changes. Example, change of day and night, change of seasons, etc. Changes that are not repeated at regular intervals are called non-periodic changes. They occur at any time. For example, earthquakes, landslides, an epidemic, a person becoming sick, etc. Reversible and irreversible changes. When a change in a substance can be reversed by changing the conditions, it is said to be a reversible change. For example, water freezing into ice on cooling and ice melting into water at room temperature. If a substance cannot be brought back to its original state after a change, it is said to be an irreversible change. For example, burning a piece of paper into ash, cooking of food, formation of curd from milk, etc. In science, all possible changes can be classified into two broad categories. First, physical changes. Second, chemical changes. Physical change, that is change of state. A physical change is one in which a substance alters temporarily in some or all of its physical properties that is straight, shape, size, appearance, etc. but not in its chemical composition. Characteristics of a physical change First, no new substance is formed. You might have observed that when a cube of ice is taken out of the refrigerator, it melts into water. If this water is kept back in the refrigerator, it refreezes into ice. This indicates that the properties of water and ice are the same. That is, their chemical composition is the same. They both have the formula H2O. On melting of ice or on freezing of water, no new substance is formed. Only the physical state of the substance changes. Number 2. The change is temporary and reversible. That is, the substance changes to its original state on changing the conditions. 
Example 1. You have noted that when a cube of ice is taken out of a refrigerator, it melts and changes into water. It turns again into ice and put back in the refrigerator. This shows that on removing the cause of change, the substance returns to its original state. Example 2. Gently heat some powdered sulfur in a hard glass test tube. It melts into pale yellow liquid. Stop heating and allow the test tube to cool. Molten sulfur quickly changes back to the solid state. The above examples prove that physical change is both temporary and reversible. However, some physical changes like tearing of paper, plucking of flour, chopping vegetables, etc. are irreversible physical changes. Even though we cannot get the original substance back, such changes are physical changes as no new substance is formed. Number 3. There is no change in mass during a physical change. Weigh a beaker containing some solid wax on a beam balance. Melt the wax and again weigh the beaker. You will find that the two weights are identical. This shows that there is no change in the mass of the substance involved as a result of a physical change. Number 4. There is usually no gain or loss of energy as a result of physical change. Water changes into steam by absorbing a certain amount of heat energy. The same amount of energy is given out when steam changes back into water by giving up its heat. Therefore, we can say that there is no net gain or loss of energy as a result of physical change. The characteristic of a physical change can be summarized as follows. Number 1. No new substance is formed. Number 2. There is no change in the chemical composition of the original substance. Number 3. The change is temporary and it can be reversed by reversing the conditions. Number 4. The change is only in the state, size, shape, color, texture, or the smell of some or all of the substances that undergo physical change. Number 5. There is no change in the mass of the substance involved in a physical change. Number 6. There is usually no loss or gain of energy as a result of physical change. Examples of physical change. The formation of dew, melting of wax, melting of ice, sublimation of iodine and camphor, magnetization of iron, breaking of glass, drying of wet clothes, crystallization of salt or sugar, dissolution of sugar in water, glowing of an electric bulb, formation of water vapor, etc. are just a few common examples of physical change. Chemical change in a chemical change, the original substance gives rise to one or more new substances with entirely different compositions and properties compared to those of the original substances. Characteristics of a chemical change First, new substances are formed. Take some iron powder and sulfur powder in a test tube and heat them. A grey-black solid is formed which is not attracted by a magnet and is insoluble in carbon disulfide. That means a new substance known as iron sulfide is formed which has properties completely different from the properties of iron and sulphur. Iron is attracted by magnet and sulphur is soluble in carbon disulfide. Fe that is iron plus S that is sulphur heat is given to them, it forms FES, that is iron sulphide. Number 2. The change is permanent and irreversible. When a piece of paper is burnt, a new substance ash is produced. Even when the burning is stopped, the ash cannot be changed back into paper. This shows that the formation of the ash from paper is a permanent and irreversible change. Number 3. 
there is usually a change in the mass of the original substance. Take a piece of magnesium in a crucible with the lid. Weigh it and then heat it by opening the lid after short intervals to let the air enter the crucible. When the whole of magnesium is burnt, cool the crucible and weigh it again. You will find that the final weight is more than the initial weight. This proves that when a chemical change takes place, there is a gain in the mass. 2 mg that is magnesium plus O2 that is oxygen that will give you 2 mgo which is magnesium oxide. In the above process, magnesium combines with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Hence, the mass is gained. Number 4. Exchange of energy takes place. When wood or paper is burned in air, carbon dioxide and water vapor are produced. But at the same time, energy is also released in the form of heat and light. The characteristics of a chemical change can be summarized as follows. First, new substance or substances are formed. Number two, the composition of the original substance changes completely. Number three, the change is permanent and irreversible. Number four, there is a change in the mass of the original substance. Number five, there is an exchange of energy during a chemical change which means that heat and light may be released or absorbed. Examples of chemical change The cooking of rice, the formation of curd from milk, the digestion of food, the formation of salt from acid and base, the burning of fuel, the liberation of gases, rotting of eggs, rusting of iron, etc. are some examples of chemical change. The burning of candle is an example in which both physical and chemical changes take place simultaneously. When a candle is lighted, some of the solid wax first melts and turns into liquid. Then it burns to produce a flame. New substance, CO2 and water vapor are formed along with the evolution of light and heat energy. This shows a chemical change. When some of the molten wax drops on the floor, it again solidifies, which shows a physical change. Thus, the melting of candle wax is a physical change and the burning of wax to produce CO2 and H2O is a chemical change.